ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another five-star gold character gameplay preview video. And today, we got the all-new Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. And uh, he'll hit you with that stick if you don't watch it. Yeah, tell him, Ridge. Anyways... He is a countdown gems, do more damage trainer, and I am absolutely thrilled about that. I'm going to get mine to 26,000. Mark my words on that because I need that bonus for my Ghostbuster Cena. And um, there will be some gameplay of that on the way too. But we're going to get back into this. We're going to take a look at the first moveset I'm going to roll with here. And uh, I'm not holding anything back on this. We're going, we're going max rare trainers, whatever I got. We're going Titan plate on this set. We got double black backbreaker, eight charge deal, eighty-seven thousand damage, to make twenty-six random blast gems. We got the arm trap suplex, also black eight charge deal, one hundred twenty-one thousand damage, make twenty blast gems into black gems. And I got the cobra clutch on here, Carl, nineteen seventy-six. Thank you for the five bits. Um, I got the Cobra Clutch on here, Submission, 8 Charge Yellow, Generate 36 Random Sub Gems, do 94,000 damage for 3 turns, remaining Sub Gems turn into Blast Gems, so the board's gonna go boom. And on my Entourage, I got Woods for Black MP, I got uh, JBL here for 50% Blast Gem damage and 3 extra Blast Gems, I got Sami Zayn for 50% Blast Gem damage, and I got Santa Hogan 2200 any color gem damage we got fury 2 stacked up on here with the titan plate so if we make eight or more blast gems we're increasing all our gem damage by 200 percent for two turns and ridge is going to get it cracking all right the brawling brutes and the sinister scotsman and we are loaded here turn one 29 random blasters and here we go we're slowing it down we're gonna go regular speed on it here regular speed on it we're gonna make 20 of these blasters into black gems and i mean the titan plate should be active here already boom that, that ought to do it. That ought to do it. Look at that. 3 milli. 3.2 milli. Just blasted him turn one. And, um, I mean, if we needed a sub, we had it ready. But, wow. That's just, uh, that's just a quick glimpse of the damage output of one Ridge Holland. So, um, we might have to test this against somebody stronger. Okay, so I've already got this challenge match complete. So I'm going to go out here and try and fight this six-star Butch with this five-star Gold Ridge Holland. And I I want to see the, uh, the Titan Plate stack. I want to know what a five-star Ridge is all about. So we're going to make the, the 29 Blast. That's activation number one on that Titan Plate. 20 blasts into black. Now, this better refill. Okay, we're refilled. So as long as he doesn't cascade and cover me on this next turn, I should have a stack. All right. Try it again, and so he's got seven mil, seven point three. Boom! Huge. All right, that one's four and a half mil, and he's not kicking out of that one. Dang, that's five star versus six star too. Incredible. And that Titan plate, that's technically a free to play item now. All you got to do is just get you save up for it, get you ten of them picker tokens, and. You can do that too. That's crazy damage right there. That is crazy. Can't wait to see that guy at six star. Whew. Let's see if he's got any other moves. Okay, set. so you could 
legitimately take the sub out and you could put the headbutt in with this move set with the two black moves and after the first cycle you could use that to do bonus damage for every blast gem but i was looking at i mean eleven thousand bonus damage isn't that crazy even with my entourage twenty three thousand isn't super crazy um so times the 29 gems like yeah that is some extra damage and you these moves recycle each other but my thought was if it's a, the match is going to go longer for whatever reason and you're trying to hold your opponent from hitting you back that the sub could come in handy as like uh prolong your opponent from hitting you back for a turn but um you know you could definitely go with the bonus sandwich per blast gem because i know if i don't say that somebody's gonna leave it in the comments but i'm going to then just live build this next set we're gonna go with the double yellows here and we'll go with the finisher so we'll choose red gems uh we'll have a yellow sub and then a big yellow finisher or a big red finisher i'm sorry so we want to take the yellow mp trainer so we're gonna go with kofi um hmm do we just leave the blast gem people on there and just go the way we're going here so that'll leave uh 36 blast gems plus whatever it leaves behind yeah let's just try it like that let's just try it like this so that'll help with the uh, the blast gems hitting on that finisher for sure so we'll go with kofi bradshaw sammy Zayn, santa hogan we're leaving the uh the strap the same we're gonna go out here against butch i really think the tippy top move set was gonna be the two black moves for sure but we'll definitely get out here and try this set out just to just to see what we got so we are six charge away from that wasn't too worried about the cascade as he's not charged so just go ahead and break a bunch of gems and this turn here we go this will be it see what we can do sub gems are out don't break too many of them now no stay at the top of the board stay at the top all right not bad we can deal with that we got a lot of blast gems now and a lot of bonus on those blast gems That should be the whole board. Oh, it was very close. That's only a million damage there, though. That's not nearly the damage we were putting out with the first uh, set. Oh, but we held the pin somehow. Anyways, um, I mean, that's how that set works. You could, you could beef the sub out more. You could go sub trainers and coaches instead of the blast gem damage. I was just leaving it on there. Um maybe a little bit of laziness but also if you put the sub trainers and coaches on you wouldn't have a lot of blast gems left to blow the board up with the finisher and that finisher is not the most damage in the world so um the only other thing we got is to make five columns into x break gems so you could definitely sub that in there and go choose red make x break gems choose three rows to destroy that'll blow up the whole board too you go red move damage on there whatever you want to do but um i just don't think that that's it's gonna hit as hard as the 
the double black move set for sure. So um, that's just another option you can do. We can only blow the board up so many times. It doesn't matter how we do it. But I'm going to leave you with that. That's what I got for Ridge Holland. And uh, if you save up and get that Titan plate and you put it on Ridge Holland, he's going to be a beast, man. So um, thank you for watching. Until next time, y'all. <laughs>